to a personal transformation journey, shaping and strengthening my mindset, body, and life in the process. I'd like to take you back to April 2002, when something happened that turned my world upside down. I was 17, like any other teen at college, full of ambition, with aspirations of becoming a big success one day. Then, at the heights of my teenage adventures, I was struck down by an illness that left me fighting for my life. I suffered from an allergic reaction to penicillin and was diagnosed with a rare condition called Stevens-Johnson syndrome, which only affects one in every three million people. Within two hours, while taking the medication, I began to experience swelling to my throat painful eyes and angry blisters began to appear and spread like wildfire throughout my body. I felt like I was burning from the inside out. After 12 days of around the clock care in ITU, I awoke to discover that I lost 60% of my skin, suffered visual scarring and respiratory damage. Within 12 months, I lost my eyesight and had major surgery to remove parts of my lungs. Although the experience left me feeling physically weak, I grew stronger mentally. I was determined to get my life back on track, and so through the trauma, a new me emerged. With the support of family and friends, I gained a positive outlook for the future, and so I resumed my education and adapted to life being visually impaired and learnt new skills such as braille and assistive technology and long hair. I then graduated from university in 2009. Although I was doing fantastic academically, I was secretly struggling with an internal challenge. It's easy to assume that the biggest hurdle for me to overcome was my sight loss but it was actually something less obvious. For years, I had struggled to deal with my respiratory condition. I let it control my life and it had a big impact on my well-being. There were times when I struggled to, to climb a flight of stairs without experiencing extreme discomfort. I knew and I was told that by increasing my physical activity, it would make such a difference to my health and fitness. But I chose to ignore this advice, and eventually this decision caught up with me. A turning point came in 2010, following a long hospital admission because of a collapsed lung. I was informed that my lung may not fully recover. Can you imagine how it must have felt to be told that you may have to live your life with a collapsed lung. Well, I remember in that moment making an empowering decision. I decided to face my fears and to get my life back on track again. I realized that change starts with me. So I began to work with a personal trainer in 2011 for one session a week. And let me tell you, I absolutely hated it. <laughs> I cringed, I moaned, I cancelled the session. Sometimes I didn't even turn up the session. But it was the actual drive to keep myself out of hospital um, and to improve my quality of life that kept me going. So over time, I started to notice a positive difference. I was feeling much better, and my fitness had improved. I was now able to confidently climb a flight of stairs without experiencing any symptoms of discomfort. This inspired and motivated me to be more consistent with my sessions. And over time, fitness became like a therapy to me. With the support of my fitness professionals, the medical team, and sheer determination, I have managed to turn my health and life around. Today I am a completely different person, much fitter, much stronger, 
and independent thanks to my guide dog, Laura. I, by seeking strength in my situation, I feel now that I have a natural affinity to be able to relate to people going through major challenges in life. And being blind has benefits too. I was once asked by a seven-year-old, how do you box when you can't see? And my answer, being blind gives you superhero powers. And I do believe there is some truth in this, as I feel my ability to listen deeply and to really be present in the moment works to my advantage when helping clients. I do believe that within every adversity, there is an opportunity. So, um, I really felt really motivated to use my experiences to go on and qualify as a gym instructor in 2014. I also won a national fitness award, and most recently, a fantastic Future Fit Legacy Award. After qualify, and since qualifying as a nutrition consultant, I feel even more determined to help other people to make positive changes in their life. So now I am pulling together almost 10 years of experience and knowledge to create a diet and healthy lifestyle program for women, which is inspired by my three pillars of positive change, mindset, movement, and food. So what makes this program different? Well, through my own personal journey, I've learned that the key to transformation is simply working on ourselves from the inside out. So not only does this plan provide tools for transformation and accountability, but also aims to inspire healthy habits from the inside out while building strength, resilience, and confidence to create long-term healthy, positive change. Fitness has made an impact on my life in so many ways beyond my imagination. From helping me to overcome challenges in life, to opening up amazing doors of opportunity like today. There's so much more that I can share with you about my journey. So if you'd like to learn more, please, please feel free to connect and reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to leave you with some words of wisdom from one of my favorite athletes, Tyson Fury. <laughs> if I can show the world that you can come back from adversity, get back into shape and back to the top, then anyone can do it. Thank you.